Okay, here we are. This is Rosemary's uh, party for the school teachers. They're, this is Manila Bay, right here. We're at the Mall of Asia. We look at here, island in front of us. I mean, a mountain, actually. You see it off to the right, going up with the clouds and over there. The pollution clouds are in the way, but that is where Mount Samat was, is, not was. About maybe 45 to 50 miles from here. This is the beginning of Manila Bay. That's where the Japanese uh, had a, uh, oh, they had a big mountain up there. They, they uh, I don't know what you want to call it. They captured it. That, this is, that's, uh, that's the baton right over there. The baton march and all that. Like I said, that mountain is uh, Civic Bay around the corner. Around, you look to your left, right about there, to the left of the screen. You'll see that's where they went up. And that's, that's uh, Civic Bay area. You look around, this is the Mall of Asia. They got some carnival rides here for kids. And they got a bunch of uh, places like you might know, Starbucks for one. Of course, they're building here, building uh, some uh, more sky high rises. And you go around, they got this big Ferris wheel right here. There's a bunch of hotels, and a lot of these casinos along here. So, that's about it. We'll walk along with a ways here for a ways. And uh, they got a boat ride down here you can take. You know, a little boat ride around the bay a little bit. This is a huge bay. It's, it's uh, I don't know how deep it is. Not that deep, I don't think. They tell me this place used to, in the 70s, look like uh, West Palm Beach, a lot of it. But that's not the case anymore. You know. So this is Manila Bay, the beginning. And I think it goes up, it goes up inside somewhere around uh, 40 to 50 miles inland from here. We're not quite at the, op at the mouth of it, but we're close. It's probably about, you know, 8 or 10 miles off to my left. So this is Manila Bay area. And the Japanese were up there shooting artillery right to downtown Manila area on that mountain when uh, Americans came to liberate this place. Not only Americans but all the uh, forces, Allied forces. They had a bunch of different ones with them. Australians and Canadians and Brits, Britons in the United States. They came here about seven years later after they uh, they took and had this place they had turned around from here for like seven years, you know. They had to attack this place 11 hours after Pearl Harbor they came here. But that's over in that area. That's uh, Clark Air Force Base. It was a U.S. Air Force Base. At that time, this place, this uh, the uh, Philippines was a, was a uh, colony of uh, the United States. The United States got it by somehow a trade-off or some kind of something to do with the Spanish-American War. The Spanish gave them this, and not a shot was fired, so to speak. The United States got it, and it goes like one year afterwards or less after the war that they turned around and gave uh, the Philippines their independence. They did it on the Fourth of July, I think around, and again around 1955 or so, they changed their independence date back to. The day they got uh, the, the uh, Spaniards pulled out of here, that was in June, I think, June 27th or thereabouts. So that's, that's the day they celebrate now for Independence Day. So there's a bunch of people down here, of course. Manila area, Metro Manila, grows to about 12 or 13 million people in the daytime. Um, 